Blue Beast Tales by the Paranoid P.I. Keeman's Bluster Somewhere between 12 and 2, near it was March 13, calendar said 1722, or maybe 2022. I had my interocular astral spyglass set up since sundown. My family leather notepad sat in waiting for the night's accounts of the phenomena Blue Star. By candlelight I escaped war as one of the few stirring light below the frozen evening sky. My hardwood oak desk was in disrepair with years of notes and projects grading at its surface. The deep flaky navy wallpaper came off inky black in the light's residue. I honed my lens to the ether and swallowed the viewfinder with half a skull. I saw a spotted canvas of naught with flakes of immaterial like wallpaper tearing at the years. My eyes bulge and constrict as it gauges to contain the glow of the blue star it caught. I gulp a hundred calculations in attempt to pinpoint my anomaly to a shadow branch of Hades. My soul is dancing in a neighboring nebula right next to the blue star that calls it. Tightening my nerve, I reach the solar stethoscope's nose and wind the lens magnification. My knuckle brushes something warm, so I reach out and pluck at the oddity. I pull away from the apparatus and a warm glow fills my fingertips as I clutch at the blue star. Yet only an insignificant ethereal bead houses the holy glow of the blue star. My eye pulls from a miniature celestial giant and light echoes off the aquamarine wallpaper. I see posters of monsters and men fighting for supremacy over 2022 in unfolding rectangles. My desk turned from forest carvings to reflective metal rods by a window to the universe. The leather-bound notebook and ash water ink well morph to a shiny square with ivory rod. Where a four-poster bed once erected now rests a large, stilted pillow with sea foam coverings. It's daytime as I hold the star, yet night sprung only near not far. Where was I by design? Is this some cruel trick of the mind? Is my baker's spoiled germ to blame for this? I best place the blue star back where it's meant to be by design. Take one thing away and the whole tower comes down. I poke my noggin into the view hole and stretch my arm to hold the star in scope. The room returns to its icy hues, and I can open my other eye. I let go of the blue star and the room re-emerges in familiar shades of flaky ink. I reach for my quill and pot and get to writing what I saw. Not a lot changes, except for the stars at night and the bed we make.